Dr. Bright? Hey, Ruby! Come to the far end of the room! Uh, why? Are you pranking me again? I told you it wasn't funny the last time! Uh, no, Ruby. Last time I pranked you, you cried for 20 minutes. Believe me, I'm done with that stuff. Just get, get over here! Ugh, fine. Haha, <laughs> you're gonna love this! The payoff is huge! Alright, what is it? Look, I'm a D-Class, Ruby! Boom! Big reveal! I'm D-Class Bright! Go ahead, ask me where I got this shirt! Gee, Dr. Bright, where'd you get this? If you go to NewScapePro.com, you can get your very own D-Class t-shirt! You'll be ready for some crazy experimentation. Also, be sure to check out the other SCP shirt we have. They're both up on NewScapePro.com. Link is in the description down below. Hey, Ruby, where, where'd you go? Hello? Eh, maybe she went to go order her own D-Class t-shirt. All right, time to start the episode. Hey, Mom. Sorry I haven't gotten the chance to talk with you the past few months. Things have just been busy around here. You know, how things are with work. But, uh, anyways... I have some great news. Maddie and I recently discovered that we're gonna be parents. <laughs> That's right. That means you'll be a grandmother now too. We've already started converting the guest room into a baby room. Anyways, mom, hope to hear from you soon. Take care, Andrew. Hey honey, have you assembled a crib yet? I was just about to get to that. You know, soon enough we're gonna have to start painting the room. <laughs> we'll have to wait for the gender reveal for that. Have you thought of any names so far? Well, you know what I'd like to name the child if it's a girl. <laughs> yeah, I believe it was Abby. Oh, you really love that name. Of course, Abby is a beautiful name. It's Hebrew for father's joy. Just think about that, Maddie. Our daughter will be the bringer of joy and happiness. Isn't that great? Hey mom, it's been a while since we last talked. I got another raise and Maddie got a new job at a nice daycare center. You know how much she loves kids. No one could ever replace her love for Abby though. She's literally the perfect child. She's two years old now. Parents always complain about the terrible twos, but that's not the case with Abby. You and dad will have to come up and visit someday. I know you don't want to leave Florida, but it might do the two of you some good. Take care, Andrew. Aw, oh, look at my little girl, making friends. Come on, don't you want to try going on the monkey bars? Uh, my dad said that I... that I'm too little. <laughs> so what, you always listen to what your parents tell you? Yeah! Leave her alone, Nick! She's only two! Yeah, well, if she wants to play with us big kids, then she's going to have to prove herself by going on the monkey bars by herself. Uh, but... By myself? <laughs> what a sweet girl. <sighs> it's getting kind of late. Probably best we go home. <coughs> Abby? Abby, what happened? How is she? Will Abby be okay? She's going to be just fine, Andrew. There's no sign of brain damage or anything. Ah, <sighs> oh thank god. <sighs> That's great news, doctor. Yes, yes. She's all patched up and talking again. 
Very good-spirited, that one is. <laughs> yeah, she's a fighter. Yes, well, just to be safe, she will have to stay with us for a few days. Make sure she makes a nice and healthy recovery. Uh, uh, yes, of course, Doctor. Of course it is, sweetie. You can continue playing. Okay! <laughs> Hello? Hello, Andrew. It's Dr. Williams, Abby's doctor. Uh, yes. How can I help you? Well, I don't know what it is exactly, but your child, there's something really wrong with her. Really? What is it? Honestly, I'm not sure. We did multitudes of testing on her, but it's not physical or mental. It's just when she was here, I couldn't shake this feeling of... of wrongness. Well, if you felt like something was wrong, why did you wait to tell me until now? <sighs> there just wasn't anything medically wrong with her, and I didn't want to worry you or your wife any further. Abby is healthy, but I don't know. I just couldn't keep quiet anymore. Thank you, Doctor. Is that all? Yes. I'll contact you if I have any further information. Goodbye, Andrew. Goodbye. Hey, hun. Who were you on the phone with just now? Uh, that was Dr. Williams. Oh, is, is everything all right? He thinks something is wrong with Abby, but he's not exactly sure what. R really Andrew, I haven't told you this, but I've been getting this weird feeling when I'm around Abby. Like, like I'm not supposed to look at her or, or even be in the same room as her. Huh, <sighs> yeah. I've also been feeling that way around here. What is going on? Andrew... What's wrong with our daughter? Mom, I don't know what it is, but I can't even look at Abby for more than a few seconds at a time now. It's like... Like when I'm around her, I just get this awful, indescribable feeling. Maddie feels the same way, too. I try to limit my interactions with Abby now. I feel terrible. Can't even be around my own daughter. I swear, one day she's just going to... <laughs> She... What did she do? What did that monster do to me? Honey? Hey, wh what's wrong? That... that thing. It grabbed my arm. What thing? <gasps> Andrew? Are you talking about our daughter? It's not our daughter, Maddie. I don't care what you say, but you can't convince me otherwise. Andrew, what are you doing? So, what do we got? Eh, the home appears to be the residence of both Andrew and Madeline. The couple was found dead when we arrived. Hmm, do you know the cause of it? The wife was found to have received multiple stab wounds, while Mr. Andrew died from a massive heart attack shortly afterwards. Huh, that's a shame. The fool got off easy. Any one survivors? Any kids? They got one. She's, uh, currently hiding in her room, though. Doesn't want to open up, so we're waiting for her grandmother to arrive. Oh, speaking of which... Oh, I... I came as soon as I could. Where's Abby? Is she okay? She's alright, ma'am. Scared is all. I can escort you to her room if you'd like to follow me. Oh, poor thing. Yes, let us go. I, uh, I will give you a little word of warning, though. This child, um, I haven't gotten a good look at her yet. 
but um, it's best if you keep a watchful eye on her. Oh, what are you implying by this? Well, ma'am, I just got a weird feeling when I was talking with her outside the door. I'm not sure what exactly, but just be careful with her. All right. Thank you for letting me know. I promise. I won't ever let her out of my sight. And so my my grandma took me to live with her. Mm. She said I wasn't allowed to look at anyone or or touch anything. Mm. One day, I didn't listen. I went to play with the other kids, but... <laughs> But then, a lot of people started to yell at me. That's when I was brought here. I... uh, I wish I could see my grandma again. I want to tell her how sorry I am. Uh, But anyways, that's how I arrived here. What do you think? Dr. Kondraki? Who is Abby talking to? There's no one there. I... I don't know. But whatever it is, it can't be good. 